Hundreds took part in the American Lung Association's annual 5K walk in Cantini Park. For many of the participants, this walk was personal. WGN's Christine Flores has more. I want to thank each and every one of you here who donated your either your money, your time, or just for being here for a loved one. I didn't know the signs. Now I know the signs, and I'm on a mission to help others know the signs. And uh, being here is just a passion of mine. Tammy D. Leonardis is a committee member and volunteer of the American Lung Association's Chicago chapter. She joined hundreds of people at Cantigny Park for the annual event Sunday, something she holds close to her heart. Very close to home for me. My father passed away from stage four lung cancer, metastasized, yeah, in 2021. Tammy's father, Ray, was the caregiver for his wife, who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. When you're paying attention to someone else taking care of another family member and you don't see the signs, um, I wish I had paid closer attention. And he had uh, coughed up some blood and that's when he went to the ER and we found out. Yeah. Yeah, he passed away three weeks after we found out. But not all diagnoses are terminal, according to John Anderson, a lung cancer survivor. You have to be screened, and that's not the end of the world once you get diagnosed. In 2013, Anderson says he went in for a CT scan for his shoulder when they noticed a lump on his left lung. It was so aggressive, they had to take it out ASAP. I only have one lung now. However, I went through um, what they call biomarker testing because chemotherapy didn't help me, radiation didn't help me, and a couple other drugs didn't help me. But they sent my specimen in to be biomarker test, and because of that, I take a medication now that has pretty much eradicated my, um, my cancer. Every dollar raised here at the American Lung Association, 90% of that goes back to programs, research, advocacy, and education. And that's why we're here today, is for us to, um, you know, with critical funds raised, be able to support research, biomarker testing, be able to advocate for those impacted. More than 500 participants made their way through Cantigny Park for the 5K walk to raise awareness of lung disease, things like COPD, asthma, lung cancer, and respiratory issues, providing a space for families, caregivers, and advocates. It's very emotional, and it, uh, I know I'm doing my dad proud, keeping his memory alive. <laughs> Reporting in Wheaton, Christine Flores, WGN News.